Hi, I'm Brigham Larson with Brigham Larson Pianos. If you've watched very many of my videos on the website, you know that I do lots of different piano related things. And uh, if you've really gotten into my videos, you've probably seen that uh, or remarked that my very favorite thing, the thing that that uh, is maybe closest to my heart is these big old uprights. I love these uprights that were manufactured between 1890 or so and 1930. I absolutely love them. Um, so every once in a while, not, not often, I mean I, I go through here in my, in my shop, I go through literally hundreds of pianos and every once in a while I come across one that I absolutely fall in love with for whatever reason and I just have to do a complete rebuild. My wife thinks I'm completely, my wife's a very practical person. I, however, am not. And, uh, and, and I follow my heart on stuff like this, even though it makes no sense. So this piano I've done a complete rebuild on and it is in absolutely pristine condition. Um, it's a 1909 Steger and I'm gonna give you a tour of it. So I really left, left nothing undone. So first let's talk about the cosmetics, then we'll talk about the inside, then we'll talk about the, uh, I'll play it for you. I'll, I'll try and be as exhaustive, thorough as I can on, on this video. Um, the piano was refinished. I do not refinish. Um, I outsource that. I just do the guts. Um, and it was done by, done by a, a professional. Um, and he did an absolutely beautiful job. It's just super baby, baby butt soft smooth. And, um, and it's gorgeous. I don't know how much it comes through in the video, but uh, if you come in, if, if you have any interest in checking it out, you'll see what I'm talking about. It's pristine, he did, did a great job. Um, so that's, that's cosmetics. And then on other, other cosmetic things like, like the pedals, I replaced the pedals and, and that, that's, that's the kind of stuff, you know, cosmetically that I did and then replace things like, or actually, sorry, this isn't replace, this is original, I just buff it so that it looks, look like, looks like a new, it's new and that as well. Um, and these kinds of hardware things. Um, and actually, there's a lot that I do co on cosmetics on the inside. Well, the keys also, of course, uh, of course I redid the keys so that they're, you know, like, they're brand new. They're beautiful. Both the I redid both the sharps and the, the white keys. Something something important to uh, to realize that with white keys, when you redo white keys, if they're not done right, there are lots of issues. Either either the the keys will hang over the sides, or it won't be a perfectly straight line down the side of the key. Or sometimes the notch here won't be a perfect right angle. Sometimes sometimes if it, if it's not filed right, it'll go in or go out, or just be ugly. Or or this notch. You could, you're supposed to be able to put a straight edge up to the notch and it'll be straight across. That's a good job, and that's what this is. Um, so that's that's just something, you know, to be aware of. Um, the refinisher put the new the new logo, the the original logo on, that's been um, re remanufactured. Okay, let's look at the inside. And by the way, this this thing here, um, I had to. Rebuild, rebuild that. That thing that comes in now. Okay, let's open it up. Look at it on the inside. And stuff like this, you know, I, I get to the end after spending several hundred hours on on the piano, and I'm just like, you know, I gotta go all out, and so I, I make those look nice. Even though, I don't know, your tuner is gonna see that, and that's probably it. But I don't know, I have to do it. <laughs> and my wife is laughing at me. Like I said, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Except I love it. Okay, so hammers. Hammers take a real beating um, in a literal and figurative sense. And a piano. So these, these hammers are brand new. These are, these are good hammers. These are obel. Hammers, which Norbert Abel is a piano man, or a piano hammer manufacturer, who uh, over the last 20 or 30 years has made a real splash in the industry with very high quality hammers. 
These, um, same, same with the hammer butts. That's, that's this part here. These are all brand new, totally replaced. And then the, the flange, which holds the hammer butt on, all of those are, are all brand new to give you the right uh, movement where the hammer just goes back and forth. Um, the, the flange where, where, the, where the hammer pivots, um, that can start to wobble one way or the other. And you could repin old flanges, you know, a 1909 flange, but I feel that where, um, where that's such a heavy use area going back and forth year after year after year, um, I feel that, that's, that that merits new parts there. So, so the flange is, is brand new. And then down here, let's zoom the camera in so you can see these springs have been replaced also um, because sometimes you get you get strings that springs that break after a while so all 88 of those springs are new also right here it's called the let off button that's an integral part in the uh, in the escapement mechanism uh, which is what makes a piano a piano so this green felt here it's actually cloth all 88 of those have been replaced those those take a heavy beating over the year they get indented um, and there are various methods for um, for dealing with that my my preferred method is just to put brand new ones on I think that's that's what what uh, gives you the most precise regulation also there's some parts under here um, I didn't grab a screwdriver but there's there's a number of parts under here at the back of the key where the where the key pushes you push down the key, it looks like a teeter-totter goes back up, where the back of the key connects with the action, um, that, that connection there, those are all replaced. Also, um, there's, there's some parts in there that, that actuates the, uh, the sustain pedal. All of that I, I took off and, and buffed that to a, to a very clean, beautiful shine, and that's not just because the action looks good, but also because it functions correctly when it's when it's properly, when it's beautiful and clean, it looks like looks like this on, on the back. Um, okay. Also, let's get a shot of these dampers. Those are the dampers that I'm moving there. Those are all brand new. Of course, the strings. If you know what you're looking at here, you can tell that these strings are brand new, and these pins are brand new. Um, this rail here is is a kind of a, a muffler thing. Um, let's go to open this up. Shoot to the side. And same thing, same thing with the with the inner workings of the pedals. Um, just very, very impractical, but I just really take pride in how this, how this looks on the inside here. It's, everything is, um, all of this is original hardware, except the pedals and the things that connect the pedals. Those are, those are replaced, but everything else, I've, you know, run it through the planer and sand it down and make it, make it look beautiful. springs like that um, anyway all right let's let's hear it very deep rich bass which is probably what these old uprights what they sounded like when they were when they were new but they don't sound like that anymore because they're 100 years old
should also mention that uh, that I've, I've regulated this, um, you know, to, to very precise specs, which with an older piano you cannot do, but with this, where it has where it has new parts, you can be very precise in, in how you regulate it. Um, and I'm probably missing, but I, I did mention bushings. Anyway, everything everything that accounts for anything is replaced, and I'm very proud of this work. I've personally put in um, hundreds of hours into this piano. Um, maybe, maybe I should just put the... Anyway, uh, thanks for, for watching the video. This is one of those projects, as I've expressed, that I'm just, that I love. Uh, you know, this is, this is where I uh, kind of express my art, I guess you could say. That's, that's what I feel, feel that I'm doing when I'm doing these projects. Um, thanks for watching.